time is short, and I want to finish by touching on the issue of leasehold reform, given that it is the deficiencies of the leasehold tenure that are often the root cause of the abuse <coughs> and poor service that so many homeowners experience at the hands of their managing agents. While we may wish to ultimately go further than the government in important respects, Labour is committed to fundamentally reforming the leasehold system, and we will support, in principle, any legislation that comes forward to that end. Significant reform, Sir George, is therefore dependent only on whether and when the government will finally publish the second part of its legislative agenda in this area. Yet, despite being announced two years ago, there is still no sign whatsoever of a bill. As such, I'd be grateful if the Minister could provide answers to each of the following questions. Will the promised leasehold reform part two bill definitely be in the King's speech later this year? Will the government make available the necessary time to ensure it receives royal assent before the end of the Parliament? Will the bill include all the recommendations made by the Law Commission in its three residential leasehold and commonhold reports of 2020? Will the government commit to ensuring the draft bill receives pre-legislative scrutiny by the Select Committee to ensure we get this important legislation right? I hope the Minister can answer yes to each of those simple and straightforward questions and give concerned leaseholders watching this debate the reassurance they so desperately seek. Thank you. Minister.